Uh, greeting fellow Africans, this is Bachuba Online TV. Uh, my name is Ibrahim. My name is Feroz. Uh, today we are going to share our thoughts as we young African <coughs> concerning on how to recolonize our mentality as we young African. Yes. So that is the issue of uh, today. Okay, as I introduced my fellow here, the topic that we are going to discuss today, uh, we are going to look in, uh, I mean, in three points that uh, is uh, main, we say main, although there are almost uh, several points, but we, we just choose uh, three of those points. So we are going to look in how we can recognize our mentality, uh, how we can recognize our mindset, our mindset and uh, how we can recognize, recognize in spirituality. So those are points that we are going to discuss today. Uh, so let us start on uh, the point of how to recognize our mentality as we young African. Mm -hmm. You know, nowadays uh, we see we don't believe on ourselves as we Africans mm -hmm. because we think that all uh, all good things are from so white right. people and are special for white people. Yes. So that is the problem of our mentality as we Africans. Although, so yes. That's so we have to change. Yes. I think that we have to change on that. And uh, in order to uh, to reach our, our plan or to make our plan good, we must mm -hmm. set on it. We must recognize our mentality as we Africans. Yes. We see, uh, uh, and that. Uh, Period of pandemic disease. Of course, uh, our fellow Madagascar they discovers the cure of those uh, oh, of disease. Yeah. So yes, yes, yes. Among all, I mean that uh, some of African they didn't believe that. They just waiting for white to say that is a, a real cure or not. So we see that how Africa we think uh, negatively. Of course. So let us change and believe that we we can without depending on white people. Of course. That's uh, on my view. Of course. That's my first thing that uh, uh, between the pandemic there at Madagascar, they create uh, organic medicine which, uh, which can help to reduce the effect of COVID-19. Uh, but uh, many countries of Africans, they don't believe that my first thing. They don't trust uh, on ourselves. They don't support Madagascar. They wait uh, from white people to to say anything concerning which is that organic. Yes. So that is the problem. So if we continue on this in on this situation, it will be more difficult for us to recolonize our mentality as we Africans. Yes. So if uh, in order to change on this, let's start with us young Africans. Yes. Let us as we young Africans change our mindset, yes. change our mentality. Uh, don't think that uh, uh, we can't even do anything, anything yes. but uh, let us believe on ourselves. Yes. Let us uh, join together as we young African. Yes. That is, it, it will help us to uh, recognize uh, our mentality. Yes, you know that Africa we have a lot of ideas. And always we say that uh, any technology you see in this world is originated from Africa. So what we like is only, is only a, un a unit that can make uh, uh, some uh, that can gather uh, people which we can implement in the idea some ideas and exchanging what you have you know that you, you found some people they have uh, an ability to do something but some they have uh, money power so let us gather this uh, two kind of people and we can we can make a, a something good so that is uh, was in the, uh, mentality of course how we can recognize it in mentality, of course. Uh, so let us go to another uh, segment or another statement which said that uh, how we can recognize our mindset. Yes. You know that when you're talking about mindset, we must think. Uh, uh, we must think of, of, of what we see, of what we look. At. Yes. Because that we are African, uh, and our continent uh, is of natural resources, mm -hmm. we have everything which can help us to develop our continent in any sector, in economic, yes. in earth. Yes. We know that uh, that is the issue. So let us change our mindset. Let us uh, let us change as we African. Let us be a big thinker on solving the problem which are found here in Africa, which are faced as Africans. Oh, yes. It will help us 
uh, to reach our goal and it, it will help that uh, African to come uh, worldwide. Okay, you know that uh, some people here in Africa, they just think in a negative way about Africa. You know that Africa always we say we can. Of course. That's why we want to unite. Of course. Instead of uh, doing something that you know, we can help each other, I think it is possible. But you know that there are some uh, puppet peoples of in, in, in this continent. In this continent. So uh, when you say that we have puppet people here, but uh, it, it affects has to continue colonized in mindset. Because mindset. It, uh, what you get from them, if you do spying yes. uh, here from, from, from other Africans, and you go, you check those sequences, uh, secrets plan, yeah. you take, you talk it, and you sell it for white people. What, what you get? Almost uh, nothing. Yeah, we have to change in mindset. Yeah. Just to look on, uh, on where we, we, we should be. Yes. Where we needed to be as we African. Yeah. If you think about this, it will be easy for you to know that uh, we don't have need to be uh, more to continue to be more enslaved yeah. with white people because. Uh, as we African, we got enough in everything. Uh, yes. So if we got enough in everything, we must change. Uh, those, those, uh, uh, those we are affected with mindset. Yes. All in all, we can say our mindset have been enslaved because we don't believe in ourselves. We don't trust in ourselves. Uh, yes, you know that uh, those people who are not thinking far, you know that there's some people who are just thinking... Uh, maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow of course but you know that if we cry in africa to have to we have to change our mindset it means that if we change now i mean that we can create more things that we can help uh, uh, more than it uh, i mean that we can help uh, another generation that you are coming you know uh, that after we have 100 to, years uh, yes we have to create a uh, good thing now in order to help those generations that are coming so these people who are just uh, stopping us, or people who are just uh, making us to not reach our goals, not reaching our goals, are those who just thinking, thinking uh, in, today. Yes, in different in, way. In present, in present time. time. Not you know the that. future there. They yes. don't think about future. So those people who are, are being used with, uh, with, uh, uh, with white, white man, yes. are those who don't think about future of Africa, who don't think about uh, how it can be for other generations. Oh, yes. So, uh, we, as we African, young African, we must change our mindset. If we change our mindset, it will be easy and it will help other generations which come. So, uh, uh, what can, can, they, uh, can they see uh, how uh, their father or their old father done? They, they, can, they cannot respect us because uh, if we don't change, they cannot oh, yes. respect us because we do wrong, we are going wrong. At all. So that is the point. Uh, let us go to another segment which concerning we say uh, to recolorize yeah. our spirituality. spirituality. Or yes. when you're talking about spirituality, you know that now we have a religion which are come from uh, oh, from, yes. from foreigners yes. uh, who are, are from another continent. So uh, we don't uh, we don't mean that we don't we, 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 we want to, all people don't follow those religions. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what we want is that we want uh, all religious leaders. To teach or taught all people concerning uh, their spirituality, concerning with their spirituality and concerning their Africa. Yeah. Uh, let 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 those leader, religion leader, teach uh, African to African to have, uh, to be loved with their continent. Because if we be love only love each other, to love each other and to love themselves. Because nowadays. Africans, they don't love their self. Yes. <clears throat> uh, you, you don't like your air, you don't like your car. Yeah. That's the problem of, uh, as we, of problem of Africa. So let us, uh, religious leaders, let religious leaders teach them on how to love their self and how to love each other and to love our continent as we African. To be proud of being African and to believe, to believe that God Bless us, bless our mother and bless our continent. Yes. That is the issue. Yes, you know that we Africans, we originated here in our continent, Africa. So you talk about uh, 
<clears throat> some people, especially ladies, of course. they even hate themselves. Of course. Not that they didn't. They don't. They don't like uh, their skins, hair, even their uh, eyes. Of some course. they just doing a uh, plastic surgery to change their uh, shape into the what they want. So that is the problem. First of all, if we want to uh, to make our Africa rich again, we have to know our spirituality. What is spiritual? Our spirituality needs, of course. You know that uh, some someone said that uh, black people are programming to love white uh, women. Of course, that is the problem. Also, we Africans now we, we don't like our black pe our black women. Even to marry now in some countries they just refuse it. They they like uh, white women. So that is the problem in our spirituality. We don't know where we're from. Of course, as my fellow said, we, we have to know that uh, as we African, we must be proud of being African. Yeah. So that is the point. Oh, so today, as we prepare this short message to, in order to change the mindset, the mentality of all young African who are living in the continent and those who are living in the Caribbean uh, and those who are living in the diaspora there. We, are, we must think on it, we must check on it. So don't forget to leave your comment uh, and share this video in order our message to reach far. So thank you. Thank you.